Hello and welcome back. I am going to start this tutorial from within the blog I am planning to edit and what I am planning to edit on my blog today is to add a feature called pages to my blog. What we've been doing so far is working with posts. Posts are a series of sharings, reflections, insights that are usually time sensitive as you post them. It always puts the newest ones at the top and bumps the oldest ones down. Now we're going to be adding pages to our blog. And the difference between pages and your home page where you're posting is that on pages, you're looking at static content. Um, so for example, in a teacher education program, your home page might be filled with a series of reflections. Um, based on your progress through the course. Whereas you might make pages for specific content areas. So say for example, you might make a page called math to share some of the math resources that you've uh, acquired in the program or share some insights from math. So without further ado, let's make our pages. So just below the post area, we've got the pages feature. Once we're in page, you see I have, there are no pages, create a new page or I can click on the new page button at the top. When I've done so, I can give my page a title, like math. At this point in time, I might be ready to fill the page with content, text, artifacts, links, any of those things. Um, or I might just be making this page uh, as a placeholder, and I'll be populating it later. Um, anytime I have updated the page or I'm ready to uh, publish it, I click on the Publish button in the top right. You can see there's now a math page listed in my um blog pages list. I'm going to make another page called Arts. Again, populate it now or later. I can edit them at any point in time. So I now have an Arts and Math page. So these pages won't show up on my blog yet. You can see if I click on the View Blog button at the top of the screen, I go to the public view of my blog. There's no, no pages. I just see the posts that I've posted so far and there's no these pages that I've added, Math and Arts. So Let's find out exactly how we get those onto our blog. What we have to do next is on the left-hand side, we're going to scroll way down to the bottom here, and we're going to click on Layout. Once we've clicked on Layout, we're going to add a gadget. I personally like pages listed across the top. You can also add a gadget as a sidebar. I'm going to go to the top. Once I click on Add a Gadget, I just want to be on the Basics tab on the top here. I'm going to scroll down until I see a red icon. The word Pages beside it, I'll click on Plus to add the pages gadget. And you see now there is a list of the pages I've created and I'll choose, you know what, I'd like to display both of them. Now at any given time, um, I might go back in here and remove a page. For example, if one term I am teaching arts and math, I might have both pages up and on my blog for my students. But if I'm only teaching math one term, I might choose to deactivate. Um, one of my pages for that term that I'm only teaching math, depending on what I want my audience to see or not see um, at any given time when they're viewing my blog. I can also click and drag to rearrange the order of my blog pages. So I'm just got to play around a little bit with it. And once I've done so, any of I've either added or removed pages, I've got the order I'd like them to be in. I'll click on Save saving the gadget. You can see there's now a pages gadget listed here. I'll click on save arrangements. Your changes have been saved. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go to the tab with the public view of my blog. Nothing's different yet because I haven't refreshed the screen. So I'm going to refresh the screen. You can see now at the top there is a home tab. I also have a math tab and an arts tab. Again, there's no content on there yet, but that's something I can add at any given time by going into my blog, going to the pages area just below posts and editing one of those pages. Again, that's how to create pages and add them to your blog so that you can view them in your public view.